HDMI. It's rare you'll find a TV, monitor, or anything that plugs into one without it these days. But this is no mere cable. This is actually the joint project of some of the largest tech giants in the world to ready the world for their upcoming technological advances. Before HDMI, there was a load of video connectors. On PCs, you'd find VGA or DVI. VGA couldn't do high definition, and neither of them could carry sound. Other devices like consoles had RCA, which required a separate plug for video, left channel audio, and right channel audio. Many TVs used SCART connectors, which could carry audio, but they didn't do high definition, and they were only mainly used in Europe. You see the problem? In the early 2000s, these technology giants joined together to create a simple, standardised connector that could connect any device to any display, carry audio, and provide high definition video, all in a single, compact, cable. So was born the High Definition Multimedia Interface, HDMI. The collection of tech companies involved in HDMI's creation helped force through its adoption by the public. Sony, Panasonic, Hitachi, Tabisha and Philips between them were the biggest manufacturers of TVs, DVD players, video projectors, computer monitors and games consoles in the world. Simply by making all of their new products use HDMI, they could force it into mainstream use. Despite that, it took a few years for HDMI to actually become the standard due to the slow adoption of mainstream electronics. It could be found on most devices by the late 2000s, but few required it. The Xbox 360, for example, the most popular games console in the world at the time, didn't support HDMI when it launched in 2008. But as time went on, more and more devices started to come with at least one HDMI port. That, coupled with TVs and monitors starting to venture into resolutions beyond what other connectors could provide, and an increase of digital content making use of HDMI's built-in content production, and non-HDMI connectors simply couldn't keep up. Other connectors like DisplayPort, which actually surpassed HDMI's capabilities, existed, but since most devices already had an HDMI port, HDMI became the go-to, and then once everyone was using it, everyone else started to support it exclusively. And by the mid-2010s, everything that came before HDMI was nowhere to be found in consumer electronics. And all this happened just in time for USB-C to be created, which can do everything HDMI can do, and more. And we get to see the whole process happen again. If you enjoyed this video, give us a follow here at Labyrinth and stay tuned for more. Anything you want us to cover, leave it in the comments. See you next time!